detecting how to solve numericals based on milk standardization by Pearson square method. This topic is very much important for various entrance exams and competitive exams related to food technology. Standardization is the process in which we adjust or regulate the amount of milk constituents, mainly fat and SNF. It is usually done to meet the legal requirements which are being laid by FSSI and other organizations. Also, it is important to produce a uniform product and to be supplied into the market. Standardization also helps in maintaining the economics. It can be done by the two ways, either the fat is to be removed from the uh, milk or the fat is to be added into the milk, which can be done by the cream removal, cream addition or skim milk addition. Let's take an example to know how these questions are solved. The question says, a dairy has 160 kg of 40% fat cream and wishes to standardize it to 32% fat cream. How much skim milk of 0% fat must be added? So these questions are solved by Pearson square method. You all can see that I have written an equation which says that we are having a cream with 40% fat. In this we will add skim milk which will have 0% fat and it will give us a cream which will be having 32% fat. The amount is also being given. The cream with 40% fat is of 160 kg. The amount of skim milk is to be find out and the amount of cream which we will get at the end is also unknown. So before doing these questions, you need to make a square box which will have sides A, B, C and D and center. In the center, we write the value of the required product. Means we need a cream which will have 32% fat content. So in the center, we will write 32. Now we have four sides left. On this left side, the, at, the, at the corner A and B, we will write the amount of fat into the product which we have. We have cream which will have which has 40% fat and skim milk which has 0% fat. So at corner A, we will write the fat content of the cream which have 40% fat and at B, we will write the fat content of skim milk. So I have written 40 at A and 0 at B. Now we will do the subtraction diagonally means center minus A is equals to D center minus B is equals to C. So when we will subtract 40 and 32, it will get 8. When So I have written 8 at D. When I will subtract 32 and 0, it will be 32, which I have written at C. So you are seeing that A and C are facing each other. It means both the values of A and C are for cream. As A value is for cream, so C will also for cream. B value is for skim milk, so D value is for skim milk only. It means 32 parts of cream which have 40% fat and 8%, 8 parts of skim milk which have 0% fat are to be mixed so that a cream with 32% fat can be made. So now we want to get the value of skim milk to be added into 160 kg of cream. So this can be done by the unitary method which says that 32 kg of cream which have 40% fat requires 8 kg of skim milk which will have 0% fat. So 1 kg of cream will require 8 by 32 kg of skim milk and thus 160 kg of cream will require 40 kg of skim milk. It means into the 160 kg of cream which has 40% fat, 40 kg of skim milk which has 0% fat is to be mixed so that we can get a cream with 32% fat. So this is how these questions are solved. Let's take an, another example so that the concepts can be more clear. The question says that we have to make double toned milk and the amount of double toned milk is 1000 kg means we make, we need to make 1000 kg of double toned milk and how we will make it we will make it by mixing whole milk which has 5.5% fat and skim milk which has 0.2% fat and now it is being asked that how much amount of whole milk and how much amount of skim milk are to be mixed so that we can get 1000 kg of double toned milk now in this question you have to use your knowledge from previous understandings like what is the fat content of double toned milk. So before doing these questions, you must know that what is the fat content of full cream milk, double toned milk, toned milk and skim milk. So we know that the double toned milk has 1.5% fat. So it is the amount of fat which is being required in the end. 
so it will be written at the center of the square so i have written 1.5 at the center of the square now i have four corners a b c and d the products which i have are whole milk and skim milk so at the a corner i will write the fat content of whole milk which is 5.5 at the corner b i will write the fat content of skim milk which is 0.2 now again we will do the subtraction diagonally center minus a is equals to d center minus b is equals to c so 1.5 and 5.5 when are subtracted it will give 4 which i have written at point d 1.5 and 0.2 are subtracted it will give 1.3 which i have written at corner c now the value uh, the corner a is for whole milk therefore corner c will also be for whole milk corner b is for skim milk so corner d will be for skim milk only so now we know that 1.3 parts of whole milk require 4.0 part of skim milk so again by the unitary method if we add 1.3 part of whole milk and 4 point part of skim milk it will give 5.3 part of double toned milk we can also uh, get it into reverse way ki if for the 5.3 kg of double toned milk 1.3 kg of whole milk is required so for the 1000 kg of double toned milk we will be requiring 1.3 by 5.3 into 1000 it's by unitary method which will give 245.28 kg of whole milk similarly we can find out the amount of skim milk to prepare 5.3 kg of double toned milk we need 4.0 kg of skim milk so for 1000 kg of double toned milk we will be requiring 754.72 kg of skim milk it means 245.28 kg of whole milk and 754.72 kg of skim milk when are mixed it will give 1000 kg of double toned milk so this is how these questions are being solved and these questions are very much important for the various entrance exams especially for the msc entrance exams and these are being asked in very various competitive exams including the net exam so i hope that it has cleared your concepts